<laughs> I'm just filling myself with this look because it's so romantic and soft and girly and um, I'm all about fall dark you know in your face looks but this is basically a date night kind of look it's very soft and romantic you can wear this anywhere pretty much it's really nice and doll like and eye opening because of the borderline so if you want to see how to get this done continue watching I'm gonna demo the Hourglass Seamless Finish Foundation Stick Vanish. Yeah, Vanish. Uh, this is in the shade Almond. I I've been looking all over YouTube for someone demoing almond color. I I can't see that anywhere. I see other people trying the warm almond, uh, some other kind of almond, which are significantly lighter than almond. Um, yeah, so I couldn't, when I swatched it at Sephora, those two were really lighter on me and someone did help me pick out Almond and it looks like an exact match for me. Without mind the stripes on my face, I just, I'm trying out a new technique about contouring, but um, I'm gonna put this all over my face. So this is the shade Almond, right here, okay. It matches to my chest, so it can work. And this is supposed to be full coverage, and from what I'm seeing, it does look full coverage to me. So I'm gonna blend out my foundation first, and then go over my contour, and then add a little bit more. pretty blended so this is a really light layer of foundation and the lightest layer of foundation I've ever put on my face um, it looks really good um, I'm definitely gonna add more because I do like full coverage but it covers pretty well it looks really natural so you could really build this up and maybe to, to a medium to a full coverage um, so I'm gonna do full coverage right now and you'll see how that will look like and trying out my um, new kind of contouring idea. It does blend in really nice and looks really natural. But um, back to the foundation. It's really smooth and really creamy. Not really creamy, but it's not too creamy. So in my opinion, um, this foundation covers really well. Is it worth $46? I would say so, yes, because it does, for a stick foundation, it really, first of all, luna color is a great match for me because it's really hard to find my color. Um, and also, it's a stick foundation that's compact, easy to travel with. Um, you'll probably find an alternative in a drugstore, but being honest, it's hard for me to find a uh, stick foundation. I know there's black radiance and there's um, other um, black beauty um, companies, but it's really difficult to get a complete match it's either too dark too red um but this is like an exact match so in my opinion i would purchase this again maybe for a special occasion maybe for a wedding but i'll still be a cake face if it even been on my wedding day but um uh yeah this is it's really if you like natural this could deliver you that and give you more coverage too so i really do like that about this foundation um this is my face without anything else just a foundation and it looks pretty well i can even walk outside the house with this well i'll put my brows on first then i walk outside that walk outside the house with this foundation um it's really nice and it matches straight on i really like that um yeah so i'm going to continue doing my full face um yeah it's not as shiny because um compared to the anastasia Beverly hill stick foundation it doesn't go to all the way. It's not Anastasia Beverly Hills um, stick foundation. It's not mattifying. It's semi matte. I would say that because you do see a sheen on my face when I am applying that foundation. It doesn't matte down completely. And this does, you know, it's not a comfortable matte, but it does dry down to a matte, which I really do like about this foundation. So yeah, let me continue on and do the rest of my face.